Hello, this is The Healthy Gamer, and you are watching another Cooking with The Healthy Gamer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a healthy meal replacement fruit smoothie shake. It is loads better than any of that crappy meal replacement you can buy. It's like, you know those things, they come in the five pound jugs and there's like six servings within that five pounds. They're ridiculous. Um, I took some when I was like 19. I will admit that. I think it almost gave me diabetes. Diabetes. Um, diabetes. But... Yeah, all those are, they're loaded with carbs and a lot of sugar, a lot of maltodextrin, a lot of dextrose, and they're just, you're just drinking flour, basically. It's, there's no nutritional value, and don't do that. Do this instead. Credits for this recipe go to GamerLX. You can find them on YouTube at GamerLX. If you have a good recipe that you want to share and have it featured here on The Healthy Gamer, just post it in my forms. I will link that up here in the description. Post it there, that way everyone can see it and there can be some discussion going on. So do that, please. This shake can be made with basically any combination of fruits. Bananas are good because they're uh, calorie dense and they have, they're a really good source of carbs but other fruits are just fine so if you want a heavier shake if you're trying to gain weight I would recommend having at least one banana in every shake but if you're you just want a lighter shake maybe you're trying to lose some weight trying to cut some calories uh, maybe you don't have a banana maybe you just have some blueberries and strawberries so yeah you can mix around whatever you like you can have a cup of pineapple a cup of blueberries um, some strawberries whatever your tastes are frozen peaches are really good too in this one, I put a fresh mango because it was on sale. And if anyone can tell me how the hell you're supposed to cut up a mango, I am all ears. You can tell I'm having a lot of trouble with this. I'm lucky I didn't slice my hand open. Jesus. But I like adding mangoes in shakes because they are really high in fiber. Alright, so I cut up the mango, and now time to blend it. You just want to blend it until it's, I don't know, blended. It's pretty, pretty obvious when it's blended. I added a handful of frozen blueberries to this. Frozen blueberries are really packed with nutrition. They're delicious and they're cheaper than non-frozen blueberries. Um, doesn't matter, just add as much in as you like. So you want to add stuff to the shake in order of how difficult they are to blend. So if you were going to put an iPhone in your shake, you would put that in first. And then your frozen pineapple and such. So bananas go in after like all the frozen stuff. So I put a banana in, and then I put in almond milk. There's a whole slew of health benefits to almond milk that I won't go into here, but one of the big ones, if you find that you have a lot of acne, you break out a lot, maybe consider trying almond milk instead of whole milk. I know it sounds weird, but uh, milk has a lot of hormones in it, and that actually causes a lot of people to have bad acne, and there's been a lot of good reports of people going off of milk, and then their acne going away. I like to add in two scoops of protein to my shake. I use Gaspari Myofusion Strawberry Flavor, and it's delicious. Like, it's the best tasting protein that I've found, and it adds just the right amount of sweetness to these shakes, and that's about 50 grams of protein, so you have, it, it makes about a perfect post-workout drink because you have plenty of uh, sugars, you have plenty of carbs, and then you have plenty of protein to just help you recover. And there you have it. The shakes are done. And the really cool part about these is it actually takes it. You're going to make these faster than it took you to watch this video. Seriously. It's about a two minute process all in all. Um, and they're just so delicious. So good for you. I use these all the time. Anytime I can't uh, get a meal in, I'll drink a shake. So a lot of times what I do is I will... Uh, work out in the morning, then I'll drink a shake, and then I won't have to eat anything until dinner. I'll just snack on almonds and whatnot throughout the day. And then so I have, basically I'm cooking once a day, so that saves a ton of time. Alrighty, that's all I have for you today. And like I said, if you have a healthy recipe that you would like to share and get it featured on this channel, just go over to my forms at thehealthygamer.com. Up here on my menu bar, see forms, click on those and then go to the health, uh, fitness, nutrition, and workout section over here. Click on that and then I have a thread right here that you can post in. Uh, so you can see the forms are not very active right now but that'll change um, and I would recommend that you get signed up to these because I'm going to be giving away a ton of stuff in the forms. 
uh, good items that I find, gold, Amazon gift certificates. So get signed up. And you know, the biggest thing here is to be able to talk with other like-minded gamers to um, help each other reach your goals, share information, and just help each other. But I want to give incentives for you because it's not a lot of fun posting on a forum that nobody's at. So let's get it going and get a good community growing. I appreciate it. And one more quick thing, if you could go over to my website at thehealthygamer.com and go on the post and click share with the Facebook thing, that really helps spread these um, and get more eyes on with cooking videos, it's a little bit hard to get more views. And so I really appreciate that. And if you visit fitness and nutrition forms, uh, please share these videos on those. I think uh, they would be valuable to a lot of people. So I really, really appreciate that. I really think that this viewer base is really powerful and you get these videos out to a ton of people. So again, I appreciate everyone's great comments and the great support of this channel. Thank you.